I'm more than halfway finished with this painting and decided to add a picket fence into the foreground with white gouache, that's opaque watercolor. Then I came back with traditional watercolor and painted around it so it would look like it wasn't added at the last minute. Most watercolor painting is achieved by building up layers and layers of color, adding the colors, taking colors away to get just the value and just the color that we're looking for in the end. You'll see me doing a lot of that in this painting. I'm using a nice large round brush to get these shapes. And this style of this illustration is almost cartoony. It's fun and easy to paint this way, and it's not exactly the same way I would paint for a fine art watercolor piece. Pine trees are darker and bluer than the background. Watch this area right here. I apply the paint very thick and very dark, and now do you see that area I was just painting? It's lighter, and it's got a texture in it because I took a piece of tissue, a Kleenex, and blotted the paint while it was still wet. I typically paint with a brush in one hand and a piece of tissue paper in the other, using it very frequently while I paint to blot up excess water to get it just the, just the texture and just the darkness that I want. Here I am doing the shrubbery around the tree, dark side of the shrubbery first, and then coming back in a second and doing the light side of the shrubbery, blotting up the excess watercolor with the tissue to get the texture and the color that I'm looking for. One of the final steps that I'll do in an illustration, watercolor illustration, is I'll come back with white gouache and do final details that just really pop some of the light areas. Here I am darkening the roof and now I'm doing the gouache. That would mean it wouldn't qualify as an official watercolor painting in some competitions, but I'm not in a competition here, I'm just doing an illustration, so it works fine for me. Gives the painting just a nice little pop. The very last thing I did in this painting was darken some of my green shadows a little bit. The green shadows that are in the grass. There, doesn't that look nice? Then I'm all done. Here's the finished painting. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching.